Okay, this is the engine compartment of a third generation Mustang. Uh, really a neat car in its own right. I mean, it, it, it has a lot of amenities to it. It's a very rare car. Uh, it is a Q code 351 four barrel four speed car from the factory with all the paperwork, which we're going to show you at the end of this, uh, or at least somewhere during this video presentation. Uh, it does have the original auto light four barrel carburetor still on it. This thing's totally undisrupted. This is the original decal that came on here from Ford. It's yellowing a little bit. It's starting to roll a little bit on the edges, but it's the original one. The uh, cold air tube has a little tiny bit of a tear right here on it, but it's the original tube. No one's rattle canned anything, sprayed anything underneath here. This is just the way this car came from Ford Motor Company. It's got all the tags on it, all the IDs, cast iron intake manifold. There's no leaks evident whatsoever on the uh, valve pan covers that still have the original uh, yellow uh, crayon stampings on them from the factory. The plug wires have been replaced. They look like high silicone. Uh, original distributor in it. Does have power steering, power disc brakes, and air conditioning. This guy got uh, air conditioning on it. Factory air. The uh, hoses are all nice. I don't see any uh, deterioration whatsoever on them. The condenser in front of the radiator doesn't have any marks in it whatsoever. There's no dings or anything on any of the fins. The uh, radiator core support doesn't have any distress whatsoever on it. Still the original Ford tag on it yet, see? The original, not replaced, original. All the Ford identification tags underneath this hood are still present and legible and clean, just the way they were from the factory. The one on the cowl area, the yellow one is still intact on it also. Uh, I tell you, I can't, I can't see a single thing. The buck tag is still on the um, core support just the way it should be right over here. Uh, everything on this car is as it was from the factory. Uh, high flow radiator on it because of the air conditioning. Uh, solid blade fan. It is a flex fan, however, uh, and it has the... Um, Correct shrouding also for the uh, uh, fan. New battery in it. Someone's replaced the uh, starter solenoid on it through the years. That's about standard. It also has a new uh, ignition box on it, which is a replacement one. The original Ford washer bottle still intact with its ID on it. Everything under this engine compartment is as nice as you would ever hope to see anything. When I look at the underhood, uh, the, the finish underneath this car, underneath the hood, is just as nice as it is on top. Fenders, inner fender panels are painted uh, semi-flat black, just the way they should be. The plastic pieces in the cowl area that are usually broken and cracked through the years are still nice and intact, and uh, no breakage or, or warpage or anything whatsoever on them. Just nice stuff. Uh, a nice plastic piece is still intact. I don't see anything on this car that. Uh, isn't as it was when the car was new. And so looking inside the fenders, uh, everything is nice and clean and clean, uh, clear just the way it should be. <laughs> this engine compartment is just absolutely as it was when it left the factory in 1972-3. Uh, fantastic piece of uh, Detroit history here, really the end of an era. Uh, by 73 they were down horsepower wise and uh, uh, didn't compete with the cars from 70, 69. But they were still a fun car to drive. They run on regular fuel. I uh, don't have any problems uh, with service on these things. They run and run forever. And a, and a great car to drive because this one is a four barrel car. It's a Q code and it's a four speed. So, got a great piece of uh, the end of an era history here. Okay, you're in Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida, and today we have a third generation Mustang that we're going to present to you. A really unique car. It's the end of an era for muscle cars, 73, uh, but a unique car. It's a four speed car. The, the quality of this car, I wish we could find every one of the cars that has the quality, fit, and finish that this one does, and the documentation which we're going to show you on this vehicle. But we're going to go over it now and see if we can find any marks, scuffs, dinghies, marks, scrapes, anything that we can show you. Misalignments, we're going to look for all of it. Okay, long hood on this thing, wow. But look at the fitment. The hood to the front fender, coverage at designation on the side. It does have a ram air style hood on it. 
these uh, pieces are still intact in it. You can remove them and open this up through the engine compartment if you want. The paint on this car is just absolutely stunning. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I know it's not black or red, but look at the paint on this thing. It is absolutely flawless. Fitment on this side. I'm going to run down this side real quick. You cannot get a hood to fit any better or any more precise than what you see here. I wish every car we had had a fitment like this, where we don't have to adjust it, we don't have to mess with it. Look at this. This is totally amazing. High quality vehicle here. Very, very high. Again, the paint on this thing appears to be a foot deep. The fitment is flawless on the hood to the front fenders. Trim around the uh, headlights. Looks like it's anodized aluminum, polished aluminum, and it's as nice as you will ever find. Chrome around the uh, marker lights or parking lights and around the grill section. Absolutely flawless. There's no chips or marks or deterioration whatsoever and it's just as fresh as can possibly be. Plastic in the grill, there's no pieces missing in the windows. Uh, nothing from uh, stones coming back and cracking it through the years. The lenses are just crystal clear the way they should be. Elastomeric front bumper, rubber, rubber front bumper on it. They had an energy absorbing system I believe back then. That's whenever they started doing this. Uh, nice bumper fitment on this thing. Really looks good. Wow. Well, this thing's about as nice a vehicle as you would ever hope to find. Bumper fitment absolutely is right on. Uh, you can see that. Uh, I don't see a deviation in the front of this car at all. And the hood fitment is just exemplary. You can't find anything that fits any better than that. And we've been really lucky out because almost every one we've had so far has been that uh, that good. I'm getting fingerprints all over this thing. Jeff's going to kill me. Okay, let's go down the uh, driver's side see if we can find any irregularities there for you. Okay, driver's side of our really exemplary uh, third generation Mustang. Look at the fitment of this thing. Side marker light. This is unbelievable how nice this car is put together. And marks on the uh, wheel lip molding. Mustang on the side. Door fitment is very, very nice to the front fender. Trim around the front window. This just has standard glass in it. It's not tinted. It's just the standard. Correct wiper arms and blades on it. They're both correct. Wiper arms and blades. VIN number, all original and nice and clean. The uh, faded part of the uh, base of the windshield is just as nice and clear as you could ever hope to find. Padded dash that goes up and transitions to the base of the windshield like the day it was built. There is absolutely no dirt or distress whatsoever on it. Padded dash, there's no fade, marks, chips, cracks, absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Correct Ford style mirror that they used in that era. In fact, my Pantera had exactly the same mirror on it, the same shape, 72 Pantera, 74 also. Roof, uh, no marks whatsoever on it. It's just absolutely flawless. This car is a very nice car. Uh, anodized aluminum drip rail. Window fitment, look at the window fitment, really sweet. Wipes whiskers, nice and resilient, just as nice as you'd want to find. Rocker panel molding, there's no heel marks from anyone kicking it or it looks just as nice as can possibly be. Look at the door fitment. Wow, right on the money. Saves me a lot of time, I don't have to adjust that one. Door handle, no uh, patina, no deterioration on it. Appears to be original yet. <coughs> Back light trim around it. The hat shelf, sorry about that white, but it's there. Um, it's brown and uh, it's like a two-tone brown interior in this. It, uh, it, it has no marks, no uh, fade, no deterioration whatsoever, just like the day it was put up, put together here. Fender lip molding in the rear. Tin everywhere. No Bondo in this baby. Sail panel, there's no marks whatsoever. You can't see where the uh, 
quarters and the roof have been adjoined. Side marker light in the back. Feel where the uh, quarter panel transitions onto the rear valance. Absolute precision fitment on it also. Boy, the side of this car is just, <laughs> it's just exemplary. There's the, I can't see a door on it right now. It's just one solid mass of like a mustard yellow. It's like a darker, deeper yellow color. Kind of a neat color actually when you look at it with the uh, contrasting interior. Dog dishes and steel wheels. It gives it that racer look. Uh, it's a standard uh, setup that was coming from the factory uh, in the 60s and in the uh, early 70s. Uh, a lot of guys would buy the car just way and rush right home and either put a set of Keystones or Kragers or American Racing Torque Thrusts on it. That's the way these guys came. They have the correct hats on them, dog dishes, and uh, painted wheel to match the uh, finish of the car. It's a great looking uh, racer type uh, uh, setup on this car. Nice looking car, Q code. Uh, 351. Let's go on back, see if we can find something there. Okay, tail section of our uh, third gen Mustang. Look at that deck, the same as the hood. Absolute precision, the way it fits and the paint on this thing. Difficult for you to see it in the video, but this thing is as nice as you'd ever want to hope to find paint job wise. Someone's added this first. Uh, uh, decal on the back of it, Mustang designation of course, gas filler lid just as nice as you ever want to find, trim around the tail light assemblies, absolutely as new, and the tail lights the same way, they're nice and crystal clear, couldn't get them any nicer than that, it looked like the day they were made, same over here, trim around here, uh, chrome trim around the back, black inset the way it's supposed to be, rear bumper, wow! Big option on this guy, it's got the, they call them rub strips. These are bumper guards, or bumperettes, and these are rub strips. Uh, both are an option on this car. Chrome on the bumper and fitment is right on the money. It can't look anything better than it is there. Even the panel that goes between the uh, base of the uh, 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 tail light assemblies to the back bumper, just precision fitment. Rear volance, no pulls, no marks whatsoever on it. Uh, there's no marks in the rubber bumperettes or the uh, rub strip on this either. Really gives it a nice look with that black accent going across the bumper. You know, it adds a little bit of pizzazz to it instead of just having a plain chrome bumper there. Uh, nice addition. One more side. Okay, last side of our little Mustang. In everywhere. Wheel lip molding, no marks whatsoever. Side marker lamp, perfect fitment in the back. Trim around the back light, just as it was on the other side, no marks, no scuffs whatsoever. Sail panels are just spot on. Roof, just the way it was when it was new. Wipes whiskers. Door fitment on this side, right on the money. Absolutely could not be any better. This, this whole car so far, the fitment has just been exemplary. Door handle, no uh, patina whatsoever. Nice uh, original door handle on it. Again, the wipes whiskers, just as nice as you'd ever hope to find. <coughs> no mirror on this side. You could always add one if, uh, if you decide you want one. And you buy the car, let us know. We'll put one on for you if you want it. Grip rail, just spot on. There's not a single mark on it anywhere. Trim around the front window, same as it was on the other side. Again, the clearness of where the dash transitions onto the base of the windshield looks like the day the car was produced. Rocker panel molding, no heel marks, no scuffs on it whatsoever. Front door to fender. Correct Ford antenna with the rectangular base, just the way it should be. Mustang designation, one more, our last wheel lip molding here. And again, no marks, no dinghies. Marker light, same way as it was on the other three. Look at this bumper fitment, I love that. That's fantastic. Just went around the whole car, we couldn't find any marks on the paint, no chips, no scuffs. I couldn't even find a panel of a misalignment on this thing. The hood, the doors, the trunk. 
There's not a single thing on this car that doesn't fit precisely. Uh, it, it's the greatest combination that you could ever hope to have as far as fitment and finish. Uh, there's not a single flaw that I could detect in this car. Absolutely none. It's a strange color. It's like a deeper yellow, uh, mustard yellow, uh, with a, like a chocolate brown interior in it. It's a great looking car. It's a Q code uh, 351 Cleveland motor with a four speed steering brakes and air conditioning. So it's a pretty well option car. Kind of a rare car to find something of this quality. It's also from California. This car uh, spent its life in California. There's absolutely no deterioration or rust or anything whatsoever. It's actually the first time I've ever even looked at the car or been over it. I did not get a chance to drive this car. We are going to go on a uh, drive on it. Devin and I always do. We're going to show you how the car runs. I haven't had a chance to even sit in it yet. But um, I know it's going to be a, a good car. Uh, we got it off of Tommy, a Ford dealer. And um, uh, I'm sure he's driven the car repeatedly. So if there were any issues, they've already been addressed. So I'm not concerned about this thing having any issues at all whatsoever in it. Fantastic car. A ton of documentation that we're going to present to you also with this car. A rare piece of the final chapter of uh, muscle car history. Um, and there it is. Uh, it's available here at Hangsters. You're going to be surprised what you can buy this car too. Uh, for. Uh, it's in fantastic condition. Uh, it's a very rare piece with documentation that's never suffered any damage whatsoever. Um, and it's going to be an absolute steal for you here at Hangsters. Take a look at it. And I wish you would come down and take a look at it, but if you can't, that's why Devin and I are shooting these videos for you. To show you every little tiny imperfection or uh, anything that needs addressed that we can. Take a look at it, Hangsters Daytona Beach. Well, this is the interior of our little uh, 73 Mustang. Little coupe with a lot of motor. 351 Q code, uh, four barrel. Still has the original auto light carburetor on it too. Uh, this thing is as nice a vehicle as you could ever hope to find. I know it's not the most desirable body style. Probably not the most desirable color combination either. But that doesn't matter. The condition of this vehicle overshadows both of those issues. I mean, the, the condition is just absolutely exemplary. You cannot find a nicer car than this, period. Headliner, original, and just as nice and new as you'd ever want to find. There's no faith in the uh, um, <coughs> sun visors whatsoever. It does have seat belts in the back and in the front and shoulder belts also. Dash itself has absolutely no deterioration whatsoever. It's a padded dash. Um, speedometer, fuel gauge, uh, and you got the four idiot lights there. Uh, there's no gauges added to this. No one's done anything from its originality. No one's added anything or taken anything away from it. I think the only thing that I could tell you that isn't original on this car, from what I can see, are the tires. They didn't make those tires back then. But uh, AM radio. All the controls for the air conditioning just as nice and clean as you'd ever hope to find. Glove compartment functional there. You got a mini console here in the center. Oh, how about this? Trash tray. Huh, I never knew that. There's a trash tray in the uh, mini console there. There are no trash trays in the rear. The um, window cranks in the rear are just nice and clean, just the way you'd hope to find them. And again, the little hat rack in the back, um, just undisrupted. The interior of this car is just as nice as you could ever hope to find one. Um, the seats in the back, in the front, uh, they almost look... I, I'm going to have to almost say that this is the original interior in this car. It's showing 45,000 on the clock, and it wouldn't surprise me if that was correct. Inside the door jams, it looks like the day it was made. The original rubbers, they haven't been replaced, nor do they need to be. Door panels themselves, totally undisrupted, just as nice as could be, all the chrome. And again, your, your window cranks just as nice as they were in 1973. Um, there's no marks or kicks or anything or tears along the bottom of the door panels uh, or cracks. I take that back. There is one crack here in a steering wheel. There it is. That's it. It's the only one. It's a very, very... I can't quite get a fingernail in it, but there is a little tiny crack starting here. There's one here, there has to be one here. Yep, there is. There's another hairline one here starting, exactly the same spot. Generally on the steering wheels, if there's a crack here, there's one here. If there's one in the center, it usually, that's the only one and it spreads. But these two, you can never notice them in the video. 
I can hardly get a fingernail. I can't get a fingernail in them, but they're there. Um, vents for the air conditioning, just nice and clean and shiny as it uh, hope to find them. It's got the loop style carpeting in it, just the way it was uh, when it was new. Um, and the key to the whole operation, check this guy out, huh? Four speed. Hurst shifter, correct ball on it from uh, 1973 yet. Nice resilient center to the uh, steering wheel. Uh, this is as nice an interior as you could ever, ever hope to find in a vehicle. Light's still working, dome light's still functioning as it should. Uh, it, this car is just a, a new car. It's just as nice a, a vehicle as you could ever hope to find. Like I said, the, uh, the vehicle is uh, it's unusual. Uh, we have a lot of documentation which we're going to show you for the vehicle. And um, it's just a car you should take a look at because it's going to be an inexpensive introduction to the muscle car uh, world. And it, it's something that's the end of an era and it's just uh, a very, very unique piece of uh, automotive history. Take a look at it. Hangster's Daytona Beach. There, 73 Mustang. Let's see what we got working and what isn't. Let me go over this together here. Let's see. Horn definitely works. All right. Uh, let's see. Those are lights. Try wipers. Wipers work as they should. Uh, fuel gauge showing us about a quarter of a tank, a little bit under, just about normal for us. Idiot lights all out. The speedometer, I'm sure, is going to be functioning here shortly. Turn signals left. Flashing the way it should. Turn signal right. Also doing its job. Let's try the radio. It's probably Take your call. Oh, you're when kidding. we come back, we'll run for my life. You got a Philco AM uh, radio that's still uh, functions. Two hours ago, and then, uh, uh, well. Unbelievable. Still works. Okay, air conditioning. We have air conditioning that works. How about that? You can hear the compressor kicked on. Yep, it's starting to get cold. So you have functioning air conditioning. Everything works so far. Wow. Nice car. Wow. This thing's really a nice car. I know Tommy had this for a while, so I mean, if there was an issue with it, it would have been done at the Ford garage. There are no issues. This thing goes down the road straight as an arrow. Still going straight. All right, let's see if we can stop it. No hands on the wheel. Same deal. Straight as can be. Shifts like butter. Real nice. Front car, very very tight, nice precise steering, power steering. Uh, there's not a shake, a shimmy, a squeak, a rattle, nothing. Speedometer functioning as it should. We're going 40 mile an hour in our 35 zone right now. Um, just a nice car. Yeah, there's really nothing you can say negative on this one. The car appears to be all original. I really can't, I really can't tell that the car's been painted. Anymore. Great looking car, turn signal working like it should. Power brakes work fantastic on it. Okay. Get a little squirt here. Up through the gears. The car runs like a top. Absolutely. Damn radio, the works completely. I can't believe it. Nice car. We are underneath our 1973 351 four barrel, four speed Mustang Coupe. Uh, this car is just an original, original car in, in every way. I really can't pick up any paintwork on it. The undercarriage is thus exemplary. Uh, it shows 45,000 miles on the speedometer. I don't know if that's correct or not, but it sure looks like it could be. Motor's never been out of the car. You can see that. Uh, no one spray canned it. No one's painted anything on it. 
a few little chips on the oil pan. There's no leaks whatsoever on the motor, the transmission, uh, or the bell housing area. Standard cast iron exhaust manifolds on it. Um, original everything, original brakes, discs in the front. You can see the uh, crayon markings on the insides of the wheels the way they came from Ford. Uh, the calipers are the original calipers and they're as new condition. Uh, ball joints are original, never been replaced, nor were the uh, uh, tie rod ends, and they're all nice and clean and, and, and just like new condition. They look uh, like they are a 45,000 mile car. Drop downs in the uh, front fenders, no one's jacked them up on those or, or distorted them in any way. <coughs> um, of course, I did mention this in the front. It does have the original shock still on it, also. Um, power steering, steering box is nice and dry. Uh, correct style exhaust manifolds, uh, they're about a two and an eighth inch uh, primary pipe coming off of it with a crossover tube just the way it should be. The subframes don't have any any marks whatsoever on them, absolutely none. Zip. Uh, no leaks on the tail shaft or out of the speedometer here. Everything appears to be dry as can be. Uh, parking brake assembly still hooked up and functional in the car. There's still a lot of uh, uh, yellow overspray underneath here and the uh, the Ford uh, uh, red oxide paint uh, evident in places yet. Uh, Jeff touched up the, the uh, floor pan some and the uh, drive shaft. Of course the drive shaft wouldn't have been painted. Jeff did paint it though, make it look a lot aesthetically a lot nicer instead of just having a rusty old piece of uh, uh, metal. The um, floor pans have no marks whatsoever on them. There's absolutely none. No one's made any attempt to jack them up through the years. Torque boxes in the front are nice and clean and cut as can possibly be. The um, uh, brake lines and the fuel lines are still just as nice and clean as they were and original from the factory. A uh, set of under chassis mufflers. Oh my. The, 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 the floor pans, again, just don't have any distress marks whatsoever on them. Absolutely none. Torque boxes in the rear. Oh, there's a jack mark right here from a jack or a jack stand and another one right here also. Another tiny one right there through the years from jack stands being there or someone jacking it up. But the torque boxes themselves for the front spring mounts <coughs> are clean and clear as can possibly be. Nine inch heavy duty Ford rear with the uh, red oxide paint still evident on it. The uh, shocks in the back have been replaced. They are a new set of, uh, they look like Monroe uh, uh, shocks, multi-leaf springs in the back, and they have a nice arch to them yet, just the way they should be. Drum brakes in the rear, they're ventilated uh, drums on it. Original gas tank, and it still has all the original uh, um, zinc plating on them, the way they came from the factory. Uh, I'm going to call them two-inch pipes out of the... Uh, uh, mufflers, two and an eighth going in, and they're going to be about two inch, inch and seven eight. Now I'm going to call them two inch uh, coming out of there. It still has the uh, sport suspension. Does have a uh, and a sway bar in the back of it. The sway bar in the front. Drop downs in the quarters. This whole car is absolutely undisrupted from when it was new. I don't see anything on here that uh, uh, doesn't uh, uh, project itself as something that uh, was new on the vehicle in 1973 when it was made. The subframes where they transitioned to the rear and the spring mounts in the rear, everything just as nice and clean as you'd ever want to find. Uh, wheel wells painted just the way they should have been. The uh, back panel, there's no pull marks whatsoever on it anywhere. No leaks evident on the 9-inch uh, Heavy Duty Ford rear. You know, I, I absolutely can't find a single thing under here that I could... Uh, original. Uh, uh, fuel line still going into the tank. No one's replaced the sending unit or anything, and we'll see in a minute if it does function yet. Uh, there's not a single mark, uh, a, a distressed area. Uh, absolutely nothing underneath this vehicle. Absolutely nothing. You can see the entire drive line as dry as can be. Uh, everything is just uh, just as clean and nice as you'd ever want to have underneath a vehicle like this. Uh, again, all your uh, on the inside of the wheels themselves, the uh, uh, paint markers that uh, Ford put on there for the uh, to designate which tire and wheel went went where. Um, hangers, the original hangers on the exhaust system. The mufflers and the exhaust had to have been replaced at some point 
this may be original. The mufflers I know have been replaced. And uh, tailpipes also may be original. It's, it's hard to tell. Uh, all I know is underneath of this car is as undisrupted and as clean and as uh, fresh as you would ever, ever hope to find one. Uh, it's, it's had no repairs anywhere. You can see all the spot welds still evident where the uh, floor pans transition onto the uh, rocker panels themselves. Everything is all original the way it came in 1973 from Ford Motor Company. It's a great car. Fantastic condition. Take a look at it. Okay, documentation for this guy. Um, there's copies of it, but there's a copy of the uh, original uh, shipping manifest. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it tells you what it is. Tudor Hardtop, it was sold in California at uh, Melrose Ford. There's your California plates yet from 1973. Uh, uh, Melrose uh, uh, Ford plate from Oakland, California. Plate frame. There's another copy of the... Uh, shipping manifest window sticker, what do you want to call it? Here's a Marty report uh, telling you the uh, uh, options on the car, when it was actually produced and how many of each were made. There's a couple copies of that. And what we have is not only the copies of that showing you everything, but we have all the original stuff, including the original set of keys, the original shipping manifest, uh, original paperwork for the car, original Marty report and a complete book on everything concerning 1973 uh, uh, Ford Mustang cars. So you have absolutely everything including all the original documentation uh, with this vehicle. So it's nice to have a vehicle as documented the way this, this thing is. Original plates, look at this, original uh, wide oval uh, bias ply spare that came with it, Firestone. Uh, original plate from the front. Uh, this, this thing is as straight an original car as you could ever, ever hope to find. Even still has the original tag on the uh, uh, underside of the trunk lid. Got originality with documentation. What more could you want out of life?